y'all do anything but leave and that blows my mind it was really bad because i was like i felt so bad Spin about it, it. <laughs> um i called like child services mm -hmm. on this one <laughs> I call I call child services on my ex because he pissed me off and then I was like, Yeah, I'm done with this person, whatever, like, you know, cheater, fucking piece of shit, mm -hmm. lies about dumb shit. He had kids. I called child services mm -hmm. on his ass and I like fabricated everything and like said certain things and they like went to the door and like there was a whole process like i don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them but she probably does because what i said like the way i ai'd that shit you know like real ai shit like fake bruises type shit. <laughs> dude that's awful you said you feel bad but you're over here laughing and not only are you laughing, but you're the only one laughing. And I'm not trying to be like some male carrier or not, but that shit ain't funny, dog. And this is coming from a person who finds humor out of everything. This is horrible. Look at the loss of kids and the American foster home system is so flawed that they could have potentially ended up in a home that was actually abusive. So this is the reason why I say that y'all gotta think before y'all do things. Or they could have gone lost, like the 85,000 kids that just went missing. So, good thing that he didn't lose custody. Careful, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy. So you fake bruises, you fake shit, and then you just made like an exaggeration story, and then on their kid, on on his kids. Yeah. Like so, hit like yeah. Then they came, and they were like, "Oh, like we're seeing stuff that your kids are being abused. You know, you could lose your kids." And I was just like, "That sucks." He's like a real life MCU villain. What the fuck is this? But I ain't even gonna lie. I would probably cheat too if my girlfriend looked like one of the Oompa Loompas from Charlie of the Chocolate Factory. Just saying. I just wanna throw a wet napkin at this bitch. Yeah, should have been nicer <laughs> to me, bitch. Should have been nicer to you? Who the fuck do you think you are? This is not how the world works. I'm not condoning cheating. Cheating is cheating, cheating is bad, right? But when it comes to people's kids, you don't cross the line. There's a certain line you don't cross, you went too far. It's crazy, bro, because like when you fabricate shit like this, it makes it harder for people who are actually victims because then they have to go through like, they have to worry about liars now. They gotta worry about people fabricating for attention or get backs, this and what that. Now you cause problems beyond repair when you could have just left. And you're talking about artificial this, artificial that, like bro, you, fucking artificial tits most women when they open their mouth they become more attractive because blowjobs when you open your mouth my penis turned flaccid you made yourself look so fucking ugly bro honestly just shut the fuck up like you're like admitting to crimes right now it's crazy how comfortable y'all are just admitting to crimes on camera y'all don't think y'all do anything for content i hope she didn't make this shit up but I hope this isn't real. Caught between both. But all jokes aside, I hope them kids are okay. Now that we talked about the problem, men, how can we avoid this? I got the answer. Listen to your gut feelings. Any red flags like, mmm, this bitch is psychotic. Listen to your gut. Stop ignoring things because you want to get some pussy. Getting laid is a possibility everywhere, bro. You got kids, I'm pretty sure you got a life going for yourself. You got options, bro. And I'm not saying homeboy was desperate anyways. I'm just saying like, so this can be avoided for other dudes in the future. Cause there is crazy ass people like this out there. The best way to not have this be a problem in your life is by one, avoiding it, or two, once you find out that someone's like that, cut them out of your life completely. But do not stay just to suffer. Fuck no. This is one life only. You gotta stay with people who bring positivity into your life and not who just stomp on everything because they don't get their way. And also take accountability because he let that person in his life and he decided to do her wrong. What she did, was that a bit much? Yeah, but when you fuck around, you gonna find out. Just be good to each other and y'all stay safe. I'm out.